we're now at a point where we need to start thinking about how can a user actually submit their actual URL? How do we do that? How do we submit their URL and then create that short code? That's what we're gonna actually be doing in this one is a very simple and easy way to do that. Where first off, we have to set up a view, then we set, have to make a form, that's F-O-R-M, and then from those things, we will actually create an, uh, a short code really simply and straightforward. We do also wanna validate that that URL is a real URL. Um, so let's go ahead and start off by creating an actual homepage that is a URL for our actual homepage. I'm gonna close out a bunch of these uh, files here because I want to start fresh, kind of, and I'm gonna jump in to the shortener URLs, uh, excuse me, views. This view, we are gonna now put it in here. I'm gonna delete some of these comments this stuff is definitely inside of the code, other and inside of the code on GitHub. So if you need it there, it's still there. But I want to make a home page here, and instead of this test view, I no longer want that anymore. I'm also going to remove that from the other URL soon. And in here, I'm just going to make a class-based view because long-term, that's actually what I want to use. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this one as well. So I'm only going to be using a class-based view here. Um, I will show you how to do the form view on a function-based view as well, um, just so you guys have that once we get there. But for now, I'm just gonna be rendering a page, just some random page. So in this one, I'll just say class, and I'll just call this home view, and it takes in the view, and then we're gonna define a get method here, and it's gonna be self request, and then args and keyword args. And now instead of return HTTP response, we're gonna return render, and it's gonna take in the request, and then it's gonna take in a template name, which we'll just call home.html for now, and then it's gonna take in a context dictionary, which in, in this case, we're just gonna leave it empty. I'll explain this context dictionary just quickly because we definitely go into much more detail here on TriJango 1.8 and 1.9, um, which are both available on joincfe.com and joincfe.com slash YouTube. So if you wanna know more about all of those things, this stuff is in those function-based views. But let's go ahead and jump in and actually create this URL and put it in, or excuse me, add this view into our URLs so we can actually see it. We open up cur, the settings folder, and open up URLs here. And now inside of our views, we are gonna import just our home view and our cur CB view. I'm gonna get rid of the test view. We no longer have that, so we no longer need it. And down here, I'm also gonna comment out the old cur redirect view. And I'm gonna get rid of this test view by just really get rid of the URL itself and then just do home view dot as view. And cur, we're gonna get rid of that B there and just put it right there. Okay, so now we've got all this stuff. I'm gonna delete these extra comments because we no longer need them. And there we go just deleting all the extra stuff that we just don't need to make it nice and clean in here. Better. Okay, so now we've got our URLs, we've got a home view set up, and we've got our actual view set up. So if we look at that home view and refresh in here, I get this error of template does not exist. So this is really an introduction to the Django templating system. So the templating system means that I can actually run my own template inside of here. Now, these again go into more detail on TriJango 1.8 and 1.9, but I wanna use my own template. And since I've been creating the shortener app as a reusable app, I'm actually gonna put the templates inside of here. I'll do new folder and I'll call it templates. And inside of templates, I'm gonna actually make another new folder and I'll call this short, shortener as well. And then inside of shortener, we'll do home.html. And then back into my views, instead of just being home, I'm gonna call this shortener slash home. I'll explain that in a second. And then in home, we're gonna say, I'll just say h1, hi there, close off the h1 tag, save it, and we'll refresh in here, and there we go. So now we actually have a template that's actually showing up on home. Now, the reason I put it inside of the app and I put it inside of something called shortener has to do with uh, uh, the other way of doing templates, and that is putting templates in its own folder. So we'll do templates here. So I just now put it into templates right there. The same, uh, it's in the root of the project, so where manage.py is. 
And in here, I can make another new folder called shortener. And then inside of that, I can make another new file and call it home.html. And in this case, I'm gonna say hello there instead of hi there. Okay, so it's just a subtle change in the templates. If I save it and go back into my project, refresh, hi there is still showing up. This is because we never set up our settings to look for this template folder. But the settings by default, if we scroll down to templates, by default is gonna look for that particular app. So um, we know this by, we can misspell the template name. So let's misspell the template name so it's a template not found error again. We refresh, this is the template not found error. And what we see here is it actually looks for templates in this order. Django tried loading these templates in this order. The first, up, the first one, it looks in Django Contrib Admin Templates, looks there. Then Django Contrib Auth Templates, looks there. And then Django Source Shortener Templates, Shortener Home, and all that. So it's looking within the apps. So by default, it looks in the within the apps. But if I wanted to actually have it elsewhere, that is, I wanted to have one folder for all of my templates, I totally could do that. I just need to let the settings know. And that's what we do in this directory here. So in the, inside of this DIRS here, I can do os.path.join, and we're gonna do base dir, and then templates. Because that is now that template file. So this base dir is coming from this right here, and base dir, of course, is the path to where manage.py is, or the base of the project, which of course is if I open up source, it's where manage.py is, so it's inside of here. And then what this call does, it's basically the same thing as this right here too, like our database call. It, it's joining that, and this is just looking for the template directory. So this is looking for directories of DIRs and templates. So I save that, and I refresh and this template does not exist. It does it again, this time it does file system instead of app directories, and we see that it's looking in source, templates, shortener, and that other one. But if I actually changed the view to what it should be, which was home.html, change it back, I refresh in here, now it says hello there. So that's actually how I override templates as well. So I can have them within my app as well as external, but it's gonna go off of the external ones first. So when we saw that, let's change that failure again. When I see that um, this does template does not exist error, and I can look at these loaders, these are other templates that I can actually change, right? So the admin templates, I can override them um, within that templates app. That's something else to note. So the way Django admin looks, I can actually override them by putting them, the admin templates or new admin templates inside of here. Not gonna show you how to do that, but it is something that you can play around with by looking at Django's code for admin templates and just drag those HTML templates in here and change them as you see fit. But again, saving it as home, and we, we are going to refresh in here, hello there. I will change this template folder from shortener because I don't actually want to change it. I'll just say, ex, um, rename this and I'll say a shortener ext for external, um, but I'm not, I, cause I don't actually wanna use those ones specifically. I wanna stay with the ones inside of the app. So it's gonna stay on high there. Again, this is a stylistic thing because I wanna make sure that shortener itself can be reused. And by putting the templates inside of here allows for us to do that. If you have any questions on what we did on this one, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.